Okay, demonstration of the retarder use on a steel put steep hill on an Avico Daily 4x4. Um, the vehicle at the moment is at 5,750 kilos. The uh, trucks are cleared for 5,500 kilos with a 750 kilo unbrake trailer. Should give you a total mass of uh, 6,250 kilos on this braking system. Um, obviously, we're down at 5,750, so in theory, there's quite a bit of spare capacity on the normal brakes, uh, but we have the retarder as well. Um, the Euro 5 engine is incredibly efficient, but the problem is its uh, engine braking is quite restricted. So in uh, high range on a hill like this, you would have uh, no, no chance at all of keeping the, uh, the vehicle speed under control. Therefore, I'm in low range and I also have half gear selected as well. So that's given me a, a total reduction in first gear of 100, 100 to 1 from the, uh, the engine RPM to the wheel revolutions. Um, the retarder control is here, uh, basically one stage of retarder. You can see number one's illuminated and the number four's illuminated just to let me know that the system's working. Stage two braking and stage three braking and off. Uh, my central display, hopefully that'll show up a little bit better on the, uh, the video for you. So I have uh, speed and engine RPM. Uh, I also have the uh, diff lock controls in there, um, just showing you the selection of the, the locks when it's required. Uh, shouldn't be using those on the hill. Um, we have the retarder temperature. Uh, unfortunately, because it's a magnetic retarder, when you put the retarder on, it produces a large EM field, which affects the uh, uh, thermocouple I'm using on there. So when the retarder is actually active, the uh, temperature will go to all the eights. And then when the retarder is turned off again, I'll get an accurate temperature reading afterwards. Um, there is some pitch and roll information here. Um, it's yeah, fairly accurate when the vehicle's stationary. When the vehicle's rolling though, it's subject to the vehicle's vibrations and therefore becomes uh, fairly inaccurate. But um, this slope, uh, it's somewhere in the region of um, 15 to 20 degrees, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit steeper in a couple of places. So it's, uh, it's quite a sporty hill. Um, but we'll see how the vehicle uh, performs and you'll be able to see how uh, much smoother and easier it is uh, operating with the retarder. So uh, let's go and drive down the hill. Nice thing with the retarder, it's going in through the power takeoff, it's almost too much there so I'm going to go down to one stage of retarder and I can uh, do a nice gear change, the vehicle won't run away because the retarder is holding it back so I'll put two stages on for the gear change, in on the clutch, nice slow change into second gear and I can take the retarder off again and as we can see the engineer is just beginning to build up RPM again with no retarder even though I'm in second gear and low range. I can bring the whole thing back under control again with the retarder to virtually stand still. I've got the foot in on the clutch and I go into first gear and the vehicle does stop. I have to take the retarder off and now the vehicle is holding on the engine but this is a this is a quiet road so it's not too bad you know but I'm down to three kilometers an hour now to get the engine to hold it which would be very uh, very painful for any length of distance. So the advantage is I can go into second, I can let the speed go a bit higher Engine still holding it. Third gear, more reasonable speed. This is the kind of speed a car would be coming down this hill. And I can control it now with just one or two stages of retarder. And I know I have to thrash the engine. If I want to, I can even go into fourth gear now. Just let the retarder do all the work. The engine can sit there with a nice low idle, no wear and tear on the engine at all is doing all the hard work. Get into a very steep section now. I'm going to stop here just to try and get a slightly more accurate reading out of the uh, horizon unit. Okay, it's saying 15 degrees. I'll just check that against my phone. Yep, that seems to be about right. It's 14, 15 degrees nose down. So third gear, have a bit of retarder, take the foot off the brake. Totally under control, take the retarder off, engine runs away because we're third gear. Just bring it back under control again on the retarder. It's nice and smooth, not revving the engine too much, I can get the revs down a bit more if I want to. There we go. Mid RPM range on the engine so there's no strain there. And the retarder's holding up, I'm not even having to use full retarder. Slow, so I'll just 
take one stage of the retarder off, speed up, reapply it again.